Right, so I'm going to do a review of this, the Beko Excellence XL9, um, released probably about seven years ago, at least now. Um, came out, it's in red, but the red was only available on the XL9, with the model number WMB91442L, off red, B for black, and W for white. Depending which one you bought. And it's a bit of a shame now that obviously Beko on the latest generation still have red, but it's not on the top of the range one, which is a bit mm, annoying. Cool. So I'll turn it we'll look at the programs at the top here then. Obviously you turn it off and on. I like the actual positive click. It's a bit duller on the newer series. So here we go. So start off with cottons, obviously. Can you set to twelve hundred for for some reason, but you can go all the way up to 1400. Um, we've got um, rinse hold and no spin options. We've got our variable temperature, we've got our 60, 50, 40, 30, 20 and cold, and 90, 80 and 70. Um, we've got a time delay which we use these plus and minus buttons rather than a, a continuous button in... I've never actually used time to learn this up to 24 hours in half an hour steps well you have to repeatedly press it ah, so it goes to 24 hours and then if you want to take it off you've got to press minus so it goes back down to zero that's quite annoying <laughs> Right, we've also got uh, a pre-wash option. It comes up with number one in the display. This is to correspond to um, the option pressed. We've got a quick wash option, which will cut the rinse numbers down from three to two. It's sort of made, it can be made for a full load, but they do recommend sort of like a half load. It's more for lightly soiled laundry as well. <clears throat> we have extra rinse which we'll add on the rinse stage, so we'll do four rinses instead of three. And we've got anti-crease, which will do a slower final spin, um, with a different stage of rinsing and spinning. Um, you can do a full load again, but they recommend obviously just really sort of like two and a half kilo at max. So there we go. Um, right. Extra rinse can't be selected with quicker wash. Um, actually, quicker wash can't also be selected with pre wash either. Then we've got a duvet cycle, which will allow you to wash a 3 kilogram duvet, which, to be honest, is pretty much like king size duvets at this point. Um, it has a minimum temperature of 40 and a max temperature of 60, which is really, really good in my eyes. Um, no 30 degree ones here. Um, again, max spins 1200 RPM, but it's preset to 1000. This happens a lot on a lot of these cycles that you're going to see later on. Then you've got baby and toddler clothing. That will take a full load. It has extra rinse pre-loaded into it. 90 degree wash. Uh, it's quite short. The, the, the later generation baby cycles are actually longer than normal. Uh, it's preset at 1200 RPM, but of course it will go to 1400 because it's still a cotton cycle underneath. Then we've got A class 40, which then disappeared after this. Um, it's quite an old cycle actually. Um, and basically, it just basically allows you to get a, a wash performance at 40 degrees, the same as washing at 60 degrees on cotton 60. And that's it. Still a cotton cycle, you can only have 40 degrees. It will obviously go up to 1400, but it's preset at 1200. Quite annoying, this is. Then we've got Express Super Short. It says 2 kilo, that is the maximum load. Wash, rinse, and spin. Um, 2 kilo of very lightly soiled laundry. It's done at 30 degrees. It's preset at 600 RPM. You can actually go to 1400, but the time does increase. 
It's a very brief short spin though, so you will find likely you'll probably end up with spinning it anyway. So just keep it at 600 RPM and you'll be fine. Then you've got Daily Quick, which will allow you to wash a full load. I think there's a misprint here because it says 8 kilo, but in the manual it really does say 9 kilo um, of lightly soiled laundry. Um, and you can have up to 90 degrees. You can have any temperature you want. You can have an extra rinse as well on this uh, program. You can have up to 1400 RPM as well, which is the max spin. If you have anything higher, like the 1600, you can't have it. But on this model, it doesn't matter because the max spin is only 1400 anyway. Fashion Care allows you to wash 2 kilogram load of basically delicates that basically use more viscose materials. Um, that's washed at 40 degrees and is unchangeable for some reason. Max spin of just 600 RPM. Then we've got Cotton's Eco, and these are your standard eco cycles for this uh, washing machine to give you A energy rating, uh, A wash, and uh, a B spin performance. Um, you can have 60, 50, or 40. But what's quite unusual is the 40 program is shorter than the regular Cotton 40, which is a bit weird on this. Spin drains 15 minutes long, it's preset at 1200 RPM, it can go up to 1400 RPM. If we select no spin, time drops to 2 minutes, it's just drain only then. Um, it's 15 minutes long. It is longer than the other, than the brushed motors for some reason. It does a little extra stage right at the start. Then we've got rinse and spin only, this is one rinse followed by a cotton spin. So again, it's preset at 1200, you can go up to 1400 RPM. And we've got hand wash, again, two kilogram, um, but ideally just one item that are labelled hand wash. It has a really fast spin of 1000 RPM, and but has a limited temperature of just 30 degrees. Woolens, much just like the hand wash actually, but made for your woolens. Um, it's preset at 40, max temperature is 40, because wool can't go any higher than 40. It's preset at 800 RPM, but it can go up to 1200 RPM. Then you've got Delicates, um, it's, to be honest, Delicates and Fashion Care are very similar, only that uh, Delicates spins at a faster spin. Yeah, this can actually go up to 1200 RPM. Then we've got Shirts, Special Cycle, Anti-Crease is automatically added on, simply because um, it runs the Anti-Crease stage of spinning. Max spin is 800 RPM and max temperature is 60 degrees, which is preset at <clears throat> to allow you to wash up to, I think, seven shirts, about 1.5 kilo. Sports wash, based on the synthetic cycle, um, it's slightly longer. You can also go to, it's a bit weird how everything goes up to like 1200 RPM all the time. But max temperature is limited to 40 degrees to simply protect the uh, delicate fibres of sportswear. Oddly enough, pre-wash isn't pre-selected, which I would have thought would have happened on um, this machine. Then we've got synthetics, generally your normal man-made fibres. Um, it's maximum of 1200 RPM, which is pre-set at. 40 is 1 out of 51, but what's weird is 60 degrees, 30 and cold are all a lot shorter. Bit bizarre. There we go. Quick wash can is available on this, so we can cut the time down. And then 40 degrees. Yeah, it's still on our 42 for some reason. No idea why. Cool. Now this machine has um, some kind of like sticky marks all over it. I didn't pay that much for it, but hey ho. There we go. Um, there's a filter at the bottom. The flap is present, but it's not on at the minute. I've got this nice, solid, chunky chrome door. Although it is plastic, chrome, not real. This machine has um, some rust already suffering here. With the paint coming away. Most likely uh, where the detergent has landed here and then not been cleaned off. 
On this side we've got an actual massive drum with these in perforations. Which love like, like love hearts. Oh. The only downside with this drum is that these baffles are only half the length of the drum, which is a bit bizarre. Um, if you look on, say, a normal drum, the, the whole length. There you go. So, a bit weird. Cool, and there's all our information. some really dirty towels. So this is our detergent drawer. We've got our pre-wash sector here, our main wash detergent here, and our fabric softener in the middle here. Got 100ml personal non-bio to put in the middle there. In our display, we've got the main wash light lit up. If you select pre-wash, pre-wash light will light up here. This means our door lock is locked, engaged, and then we have a play icon there to say that we're currently washing. If we press start, it'll go to pause, give it two minutes, the door will lock, and you can access your load. So add stuff if you want. The little E icon here as well is just to say that you're saving up to 50% more energy than say 90 degrees, for example. Um, in this display as well, it'll go along. Uh, we've got main wash, rinses, fabric softener, and final spin all light up as it progresses through the cycle. What's the dry now? Oh, the new towels. Like I said, I've put them towels in so I can get them done. Oh yeah, once they're done, they won't take long in the dryer. In the wrapping
I just soak it, it really is all blue. rattles here and there, whereas hot point would just
say how to do this. So, so. You see this?
bad. Let's see what They are relatively clean, considering they're not actually lightly soiled. But they are soaking wet. This is the only problem with the daily quick. The spin cycle on it is too short on the, the daily quick. So that cottons, it's fine. And you actually get really good results. But actually, that's impressive, considering they're like physically dirty, they're now physically clean. They quit really good on this. Anyway, out of 10 then. Um, I like the colour. Um, the 9 kilo really is 9 kilo. Uh, the 1400 spin, and even at 1200, is really, really fat, like really good results. Downsides, just like every other Becco, it sells lots like crazy. Um, the day quick rinses are a bit weird how they distribute. Effective, but a bit weird, and put much more strain on the belt. Hmm. Um, but everything's well built, and everything is fine. So, 9 out of 10 it is. I do love it, actually, though. So I'm going to keep it anyway in my collection. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon. Bye!